Since version 1.6 of the Document and Data Automation plugin, we can keep track of which WordPress users have used a Docspresso template. In the admin interface, we are offered a new tab that is called Browse Data, in which we can filter by WordPress users. For example, in this case, if we just click here, we can see the documents that have been used by this particular user. This interface offers us the possibility to download the document, check the data, or even continue the edition of the document in case that we have to do some action on it or we want to help that particular user. But not only that, if I register like a normal subscriber, here for example, I have just registered with the profile of the user that we have filtered data before, this user can access his documents just by clicking in this link and can check all the documents that have been filled by him via the WordPress interface. In particular, this user can download the document at any time or continue edition. Now we will show how from the admin interface we can control which actions are allowed for a particular subscriber. Back in the admin interface, we just can click here in users within Docspresso SAS menu entry and we see that we can handle the actions, capabilities uh, following WordPress terminology that we can offer to our different users. So we can allow them to just download the documents that he has produced within Docspresso in the WordPress interface or allow for continuing edition. And this is basically all to the new user interface for the document and data automation plugin.